I'd like to call this meeting of the Sebastian Construction Board, June 26, 2018, to order. We'll have the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States and the Republic for which it stands, one nation, one God, indivisible, and justice for all. We'll have roll call. Ms. Carbono. Here. Ms. Harris. Mr. Hosey. Here. Mr. Monero. Mr. Bordier. Here. Mr. Crockett. Uh. Thank you. Okay, we'll go for approval of the minutes from our last meeting on May 15, 2018. Did anyone find any errors, omissions, et cetera? I would move that we approve as presented. Second. Okay, we have an approval and a second. Um, can we have a roll call? Mr. Ozy? Yes. Mr. Smith Carbono? Yes. Mr. Monero? Pretty Actually, you wouldn't ask me. I'm the one. No, but I'm yeah. sorry. Okay. I'm sorry? You wouldn't ask me. I'm the one that moved it, so you wouldn't actually okay. ask me, but that's okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay, then I guess we don't need to do it. Sorry. We've had a, we've had a motion and a second. We'll go on to our next um, Order of business, then. Announcements. Um, we were going to have a new board member. I guess she's not here. Old business, we have none. New business. Wayne? Good evening. Um, this case here before you tonight is in the matter of Mr. David Smith doing business as Woodsmith Services. Um, this is a disciplinary hearing. He's a residential, registered residential contractor. His license number is RR2828118589. Um, there's alleged violations that occurred at 650 Carnival Terrace in Sebastian. Um, the uh, causes for disciplinary action being brought before the board tonight is for under section 26-172, uh, subsection 5, diversion of funds or property received for the completion of a specified construction project or operation or as a result of the diversion, the contractor is or will be unable to fulfill the terms of his obligation or contract, and also subsection 10. Abandonment of a construction project in which the contractor is engaged or under the contractor under the contract as a contractor A project is to be considered abandoned if the contractor terminates such project without notification To the prospective owner or current owner for at least 30 days without just cause Such as acts of God causing construction delay So the background in this court on this case um, is we received a, a contractor's complaint uh, affidavit. Uh, it was filled out by uh, Ms. Pauline Smith at um, 650 Carnival Terrace. Uh, she came in back in November 2017. I looked at the case and, and it quickly determined that uh, this is something that needed to go before our police department um, for investigation for uh, either fraud or theft or both. Um, so that was followed up by our uh, Sebastian Police Department. Um, I believe that they were, I know that they were involved, they started a case. Um, so uh, we heard from Ms. Smith um, several times throughout the course of this process. Um, she did file a complaint with the state. Um, the, there was um, a conviction of Mr. Smith and um, 
that went through a, a court case. Um, but also, we've got a, re, a letter back from Department of Business Professional Regulation stating that they, uh, because he is a registered contractor and not state certified, uh, they did not have jurisdiction to discipline him. Um, so they deferred that to us because it happened here in Sebastian. We did not sponsor him for his initial licensing. That came through, um, I believe it was City of Port St. Lucie. Um, however, through letters of reciprocity, we did license him back in 2013 because um, he met all of our uh, code requirements here. Um, so he's been registered with us um, as a, a contractor since uh, 2013. Um, so we're here tonight to um, take disciplinary action um, as the board sees fit against this contractor. Um, so the, uh, again, a little bit more background is the, there was a initial contract with Ms. Smith to do, I believe it was an addition to her home and uh, the, the contract sum was $56,500 in which she paid him $25,000 up front. Um, he didn't do any work and there was no permits ever issued or applied for. Um, so uh, she has been fighting this battle for quite a while. What are you looking for, Wayne? What do you want? Um, well, it's up to the board. I mean, the board has to weigh in all the facts and decide what you want to do with him. Uh, it's not really up to me. Um, you have the choices of, uh, uh, besides fines, you have choices of uh, revocation, suspension, probation, those types of things. So, well, I have uh, a question. Um, pretty much we can't do anything to help Mrs. Smith. Well, this is, yes, you can. This is the beginning. This is the beginning of it okay. because, um, and uh, her, her attorney's here tonight. She can speak more on this matter. Um, but... In order, there is a recovery fund at the state okay. process. In order for them to start that recovery fund, they have to have a case, disciplinary action. Since the, it's not under the purview of the state, they deferred it to us. So this is an important step that we get a, a case on file. Now, everything that happens here, because you state registered, will get forwarded to the state. To the state, for okay. For them to then take action and do it. You know, they can take further disciplinary action or they can... Um, you know, stand by what we say. I mean, I, you know, it's going to be up to the state, but it's a real important process. Okay. Wayne, is it either party here? Anybody here for this? For the contractor? Yeah, I don't know who's in the audience. I don't know. Is anybody here for the contractor or the owner? Um, Ms. Napier's here. She represents the owner. She's her attorney. Is the contractor represented here by an attorney or? Not that I know of, no. Nobody here for him? No. Um, and just so you know, um, we did send certified letters. They were attempted to be delivered. Of course, they didn't get delivered. I hand delivered it to his, I found where he was staying. There, um, it's in the file, I believe, that in your backup. But uh, there was people there. Uh, a gentleman said that he confirmed that, yes, this is where he stays. And I told him who I was and what this was about. And could he give him this? this letter that I had in an envelope. Um, and he said, yeah, I'll make sure he gets it. And I asked him to sign the form uh, and he wouldn't, he didn't want to sign anything, but I did get his name and um, it's on it. indicated that, you know, he would that he would give it to him. So I believe he got it, but he knows what this is about. So I'm not surprised that he's not here. I mean, to me, I mean, I think that, um, I think this is straightforward. I mean, I think it's egregious. I think it's nefarious of everything that I read of what this individual did. And I would say, what, what's the max? What can we do? What's the max? Because I'll move A revocation, that. I believe, would be the maximum. Then I move that. That's between you members. Well, I just moved it, so it's a motion on the table. I, I got a couple of questions, if I may. Um, he was arrested and incarcerated. Yes. For this. Yes. Uh, and put in the Indian River County at the county jail? I believe so. Um, he was accused of second degree grand theft, third degree grand theft. He went to court 
And it says here, the reason they released him was for the time served. No bond. He was arrested and put in jail on the 29th of March, 2018. His trial or his, yeah, his hearing that he got was in May, May the 24th. Well, do you know whether he was kept incarcerated for that period of time between? I don't know a lot about the case, but um, you may want to talk to Ms. Smith's attorney, Michelle Napier, is here. Oh, there isn't and someone here? She, I'm sure she knows the case a lot more than I do. Uh, are you the attorney for the complainant or for who? She represents the owner. She represents the owner. For the owner? The owner. Yes, I'd like to find that. Uh, just get a few questions asked if you okay. have the answers for them. I think, I think I have to swear in this lady first, right, correctly? No, as an attorney, uh, she's not giving testimony. She's, she's providing information, okay. but as an officer of the court, not she's accepted. bound by her oath to, to tell this tribunal. To okay, speak I just wanted to be sure. Okay, would you give Did me you by chance me? hear my question? I did, sir, Michelle Napier. Michelle Napier, okay. And you're the attorney for Mrs. Uh... Pauline Smith. Okay, thank you. Go ahead. You're welcome. To answer your question, yes, he stayed in jail from the time he was arrested until the plea deal. Good. I wasn't involved in the criminal case at all. I'm not a, a prosecuting attorney on the criminal side. Uh, as far as I understand it, there was a plea deal, and part of that plea uh, required him to pay restitution to Ms. Smith as well. And there is a restitution order in the file. There is? Yes. Uh, that was what I was getting at. If there was an adjudication on a file? There was $25,000. Okay. That's good news. Let's hope she can collect that. Let's hope that it comes through. Yeah. yeah. Come on. I, had, I had a question about, I was confused about the amount of money because when she wrote in her, on page three of the complaint, she wrote, at first it said 25000 and then they said the bank wouldn't refused to honor it, <clears throat> so they had her rewrite one for 25500 and credit 2500 on her credit card. So that's like $3,000. It was 22000 There was some situation with uh, the original bank check and the, the account he was trying to deposit it in. They wouldn't yeah, accept it, account. so she ended up putting 22, writing a check for 225 and then putting the 2500 on okay, her credit card. Okay, that's a two card. then. I, I mistook the, the yeah, writing. Yeah, there was a, per, a personal check she wrote him for okay. $22,500, okay. and then the $2,500 balance was put on a credit card. Okay, to pay okay. Him. I'm sorry. I, that's, I got confused with that, and I guess I just couldn't read it. If I may, another question. Okay. Is a homeowner aware of the, the DBPR has a recovery fund that she can apply to possibly? It's probably hadn't got any money in it, but, yes, but she I've can apply for it and that. get in line. We're, we're actually working on that right now. Good. Yes. Good. Any other questions? Actually, okay. If we revoke his license in Sebastian, is it it's only for Sebastian? It's not going to affect anywhere I'm else. sorry, I can't hardly hear you, but... If we revoke his license, it will only be for Sebastian, right? He'll be able to work any, you know, Indian River County or St. Lucie County? To revoke the license, that's, he, that's it. It'll be for good. Is that what he, you're asking? Yeah, he's done. Can he it's, work it's, elsewhere? Can he work he outside? He can work um, elsewhere. Yeah, it would only be for the city of Sebastian. It would only be for Sebastian. Okay. Can we revoke his license for a period of time, like for five years, he can't get a license or take the exam because most time when you revoke a license, they can just take the exam again and try to get it back. Well, we can only do what we can do here in Sebastian. If you're talking about suspending his license, suspending his license, is that what you mean? He's talking about suspending the fact of his attempt to get another license. Well, I mean, we can't control that. I think you can do that. Yeah. I mean, he wouldn't, he'd have to go through the state or through another city um, to get, to go before another construction board. You're saying if he loses his license, try to get another one? 
If it's yeah. revoked, but if he goes, you, he, he probably wouldn't. If the state has a case against him, the state's You do notify DBPR that it's been revoked, right? Sorry? You notify the department state that yes. he has a revoked license. At, at the is that correct? outcome of this hearing, whatever this is, that will all get forwarded to the state in, in an order. And then they can revoke his overall license. Right. Correct. They, they may take everything. action against his state license, and they may revoke right. it, suspend it, whatever they may do, right. in addition to what goes on here. Business and professional regulations will take but care of the I don't the think there's anything we can do to prevent him from going to another city somewhere in the state of Florida and try to apply for a license. Hopefully they'll do some background checks and it won't, uh, it'll yeah. come up. Who, who sponsored them originally? I think it was the city of Port St. Lucie. Port St. Lucie? Yeah. yeah. It's St. Lucie County, right? Yeah. Right. On there. That's where he took the exam, yeah. So if we revoke his license here and oh, say he gets county. one in another county, then he can't recipro reciprocate here, right? No. Being as we've revoked. Well, so we have to send the revocation to St. Lucie County? Yes. Okay, I would so definitely then, notify them. Okay. So then perhaps they... <coughs> um, and, and I believe that... Uh, I'm 90% sure that any River County has already taken action also against him. Okay. And I'm not sure what the, what the outcome of that was, but they may have done the same, revoke it. Okay. That's good to know. Well, what do we need? Do we need? We need to find him guilty of the violations that he's been accused of. Number one, if he, if in fact he is, and then uh, adjudicate whatever penalty we think he ought to have. Mm -hmm. yes. Which oh, there's already a motion on the table, right? To revoke his license. What's yeah. your? What is your motion? Who, who made that motion? I did. He I did. made it a while, a while back, back, and I was just about to say it from the it. beginning. Oh. Absolutely. Make a motion and then discussion. So we're in discussion. Oh, the motion is to revoke his license. So you have to vote on that before you can move in any well, I thought motion. we have a motion, then a second, then discussion. I'll give you the Sorry, second on it. Sure. It, it was already second. Okay. Go ahead. There's Discuss. No, it's either discussion or you vote. You have to do something with this motion. Well... Well, I mean, the motion that. is to revoke his license, correct? Correct. Uh, the five hundred dollar fine, not bother with that. I yeah, said whatever, Wayne. Whatever is the max, whatever. And you said revoke, so whatever is the max. Oh, well, as long as he never gets a license in the city of Sebastian again, I think is what we're shooting for. For what it's worth, yeah. for all over. Sure. <coughs> Sorry. For what it's worth, Ms. Smith would appreciate whatever the maximum, yeah, just like you max. were saying. Absolutely. The, the, every well, every single enforcement mechanism you all Absolutely. control with him. And that's what, that's that's what, what we want to do. For whatever is the max. There's, there's two sections of the code that we are, that we feel that he's the causes for disciplinary action. So each one of those Need could be $500 each, maximum $500. Okay. But you would have to rescind his well, motion. I wouldn't rescind. I would amend my motion or, to also include the five hundred dollar fine, because you can do that on each on each on, on, on whatever. I, I didn't hear motion, everything you said. I want the max. Yeah. You tell me what it is, and I'll amend. Yeah. The no, max. he can. No, it, it's okay if he amends the motion, Absolutely and he can also do both both violations together. Same way we do it, code board multiple yeah. violations. So, so if you want to amend, amend it. To, to add the fine, but also amend it to include both violations and state the fine for both violations. Okay, so say it to me, Wayne. What, what's the Okay, so fine? your original motion was to revoke. Yeah. If you want to amend your motion to include sections 26 172, 5, and 10, each one of those carrying $500 in, in fines. Correct. I want to amend the motion to include those two. You need to say that. Oh, I, I don't have that. <laughs> no. say, say them again. <laughs> that's fine. That, that's fine. Just, you, you're amending your motion to, to, uh, to find him uh, in violation for both subsection 5 and subsection 10. Correct. Um, with, with a penalty of revocation, permanent revocation, and $500 for each On violation. Each. 
Exactly. I so okay. move. Does the clerk have that? A second <laughs> that, the motion. That, that was him. Okay. The amendment and everything. <laughs> okay. Do we need have any discussion? I think we're. So this is a matter of public record. No public. Um, or can there be public scrutiny not on those individuals personally? <laughs> Well, we can we can and certainly will provide a, a copy of this order to to any of the local governments around. Uh, that I mean, that's the price of a stamp. That's not a problem to notify anyone from Melbourne to Port St. Lucie uh, of, of of this. So we can do that. There, now they may a, have to take their own actions, but right. but we can certainly let them know about it. We actually there is a an association of um, construction licensing officials. And we can reach out to them and make sure that it all gets circulated amongst all the municipalities so that everyone knows. All the counties. That'd be great. So there's, there's a database there that we can tap into to make sure everybody knows. Sorry? It's, it's, it's the Construction Licensing Officials Association of Florida. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how they know each other. Yeah, I know. I know him too, and I'm su oh, Yeah, sorry. He was surprised, to say the least. Okay. 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 We've had a motion. It's been seconded that we're going to revoke his license. And fine him uh, $500 in each of the section 26-172, section 5, and section 10. $500 on each of those um, items. So that'll be uh, revocation and $1,000 in fines. Yes. And all of this to be sent to Department of Professional Regulations in the state. Yes. Yes. And good luck collecting that. Well. <laughs> yeah, that's need, going to be the tough part. We need a roll call for a vote. Ms. Carbono? Yes. Mr. Hosey? Yes. Mr. Monero? Yes. And Mr. Crockett? Yes. Unanimous. Okay. We'll go on to building official matters. No, none tonight. Board matters. Attorney matters. Um, nothing, ma'am. Okay. And 15 minutes to the public. Okay. Construction board meeting is adjourned at 6.23 p.m.